Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Udo Sendai UK and in this video I explain the MIDI CC device. I'll be happy if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But let's get started. And the MIDI series continues with the MIDI CC device from Bitwig. An unspectacular control device, but capable of unexpected possibilities. What does the device do? The device has eight different nameable, uh, nameable knobs. Like here. To each of which a MIDI CC number can be assigned. Then on the top right, you can set a MIDI channel from 1 to 16. And to the left of it, there's a button with the name Flush, which sends all current values, for example, the position from 0 to 127 of the defined knobs, one after the other when pressed. That's basically the whole device, but you can do a lot with it. Here are some ideas. Um, we use the device to control, for example, an external synthesizer. External in this case means everything that is not Bitwig. So external hardware, as well as third-party plugins that can receive and process MIDI CC. For external, um, for external hardware in the track um, properties, you have to set then the right output, like node outputs your MIDI device or the direct device if it's um, over there. I have already um, made a video in connection with the free Search XT synthesizer that is called Rule Them All Easy, hashtag Auto MIDI Control. You can find that link in the description or also in the info boxes. So. If I just load that preset, uh, search XT auto MIDI control. Um, what is the, the video about? Spontaneous control with an eight knob or fader device. For this, I created several of these MIDI CC devices. For example. And then combine them into a chain device. In this case, I used two chain devices, but the principle is the same. In the chain device, I created the corresponding remote pages, like uh, these ones. And um, so, I can easily select, wait, I can easily select one of the um, desired remote pages, let's say the filter, and control it with every simple MIDI controllers with eight knobs or faders. Of course, I had to set the corresponding MIDI CCs to the target parameters in the Search XT synthesizer. For example, which MIDI CC number the cutoff of the filter has. This is a so-called MIDI CC mapping table. Every plugin, every good plugin has something like that, that you can import and export. This was a lot of work, but now I can simply load my auto MIDI control in front of a Search XT plugin and immediately have all the important parameters, or the ones I have defined, directly accessible without having to map them extra with the map to controller or key function. And there follows another big advantage of this approach. Namely, turning my controller knob only affects the Search XT plugin if I also have the track selected with the map to controller or key function, this would apply project wide, no matter which track I am currently in. And I would have project wide with eight available buttons 
only eight parameters to choose from. By the way, with a well thought um, uh, with a well thought setup, you actually only need eight knobs. Through this, I call it intermediate layer with the MIDI CC devices and the remote pages. I have theoretically the possibility to change infinitely many parameters on all uh, possible devices and plugins. And the charm of this solution is that only one person has to make this effort to create the MIDI CC devices and the mapping table, for example, the Search XT synthesizer, and uh, others can simply copy and use them. In other DAWs, there's something similar to the MIDI CC devices. In Ableton, for example, there are the macros. Of course, this has to be created first, but the mapping table for, for Search XT can be used just like that. It is then only half the work. This is a super community project spread over all DAWs for all possible plugins and external hardware. But look at the video yourself. Then it is of course also totally super that with the help of these MIDI CCs also automations in the track can be sent to for example plugins or more important external hardware. So for example something like a cutoff filter movement. Or one of the uh, more modulators can modu uh, one or more modulators can modulate the controller in the MIDI CC device and send it to, for example, to an um, external hardware or plugin. And don't always think that external hardware always means synthesizer. There's a lot of hardware that understands MIDI and uh, can receive and process MIDI CC. So that in a dramaturgical uh, flow the of the arrangement, a simple light installation or motors could be triggered or controlled, or simply the faders of a mixing console. Um, there, another protocol is normally used instead of MIDI, but anything that goes, goes. And if you think of modulators, then think not only of LFOs and random generators, but also for example of key tracking, with which you sh um, could control the intensity of a vibrato with 128 values, depending on the pitch or the resonance of a filter with the velocity or the pressure or aftertouch, which your hardware synthesizer was not able to do until now. Here lies a huge amount of potential and wants to be discovered. As the Spando philosophers Ike and Er said, the sky is the Himmel. Link is in the video description. Thanks for watching. My name is still Odo Sendai And if you have any questions or comments about this topic, or any other topics, please let me know and leave a comment. If you find the video helpful, like, subscribe and share it with your friends or put it on public places. It might be helpful um, to other people as well. I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care, see you then. Ciao, ciao.